Okay, so welcome back. So for today, we are going to have our first video on subject verb agreement rules. So I divided this into several videos to give emphasis on specific um, parts or rules para hindi masyadong congested. So usually I get the question na paano daw maging magaling sa English? So if I want to be a good writer or a good speaker in English, how should I start? So personally, I tell them to start with the subject verb agreement rules. So this will be a series of uh, videos. I will be setting up a playlist. So uh, along with this would be the rules, examples, and then exercises for both of us. So in this case, for the first video, we'll be having the intervening prepositional phrases. Okay? So without further ado, let's start. So for the for this video, rule number one is that the verb must agree with its subject in number and in person. So what does this mean? Okay, so let's do the markings. Cancel. Okay. So as we've mentioned, we'll start with the verb agreeing with the subject. That's why we, we are studying the subject and verb agreement rule. So they have to agree. Dapat, kumbaga, they follow the rule, the basic rule in grammar. So they have to agree in number and in person. Okay? So singular words are one. Singular. What are examples of singular words? Like chair, cell phone, book, toy. On the other hand, plural words are those which are more than one. And how do we indicate if it's a plural word or what is the indicator for plural words? Usually, for regular verbs, you have S or ES. Okay? But for irregular words, uh, irregular words or words in irregular form like for example goose to geese um, what else um, mouse to mice something like that there's a, a different uh, rule in that so but generally when you have you, when you pluralize a word you just add s chairs cell phones books and toys okay so the singular subject takes a singular verb a plural subject takes a plural verb so siguro to make things easier for you to understand for the second bullet there is the personally i i am just teaching it this way one s rule in the sentence so if your subject has an s your verb should have no s if your subject is singular and has no s your verb should have an s okay what do we mean for example the chair singular it has no s what should it be was or were since this is singular the rule for this is this second star okay so this should be with s or plural okay so we'll be choosing where okay this is a linking verb by the way so let's have another example uh let's use a different color para visible another the black one na lang. the child play or place using these rules. So, ito wala siyang S. So, ano dapat? May S ba to? O wala? Following the second star, dapat may S. The child place. Pero, kapag sinabing the the boys cook or cooks may S. So, ano dapat yung verb? So, pasok siya dito sa first star. Okay? So, it should be cook. May S na to eh. Ito yung subject. So, yung verb niya, wala ng S. Nakuha. Okay? So, again, singular are the words 
na walang S and usually they pertain to one concept. For the plural nouns, usually the, the, the ones that um, could be pluralized with S or ES, lalagyan mo lang ng S or ES sa dulo. From chair to chairs, cell phone to cell phones, book to books, toy to toys. Tapos, as, uh, as we have established, one S rule, okay, kung ang subject mo may S, yung verb walang S. Kung yung subject mo singular, yung verb mo singular or walang S. Okay? Ay, may S dapat siya. So, kung iisipin mo ito, medyo malilito ka. So, another way to translate this nga, yung one S rule, kapag yung subject mo may S, ang verb walang S, kapag ang subject, okay, walang S, ang verb mo naman ang may S. Okay? So, we gave examples na. So, more examples. He works. Okay? Ay, by the way, singular verb is, um, the base form of the ber verb is S or ES. So, applicable pa rin dito sa rule natin na nilagay. So, kapag singular subject daw, isa lang, walang S, yung singular verb, yung kukunin niya, na may S. Pag plural yung subject, may S, yung verb, plural din, ito yung walang S. Kasi kapag singular verb, it has to have S sa dulo. So, huwag na lang kalimutan, one S rule for SV agreement. Okay? Ayan. So, singular, he works. He is one dahil wala siyang technically S at isa lang siya, singular siya. So, may S dito sa verb. They work, madami to, more than one. So, dito, automatically, wala ng S kasi plural. Okay? She exercises, they exercise. She speaks, they speak. Okay? Tigi isa lahat to. Tigi isa. Kaya, may S. Ito, madami sila, kaya walang S. Okay? Siguro para hindi mo makalimutan, kapag isa, isa lang siya, yung subject mo, single. Okay? Single. So, kailangan may S sa dulo, ang verb. Okay? Kapag madami sila, dahil couple na, hindi na siya single, wala nang S sa dulo. Okay? Next, he is present. Again, isa lang. Okay? Kaya, yung is pa rin, may S pa rin. They were present. Oh, ito, madami na to, kaya plural. Itong um, verb is plural na din. Wala, wala din siyang S. Okay? So, technically, kapag they, this is more than one person, this is a pronoun, referring to more than one person. Okay. It was amazing. One lang to. Ang it. So, may S. Singular. Was amazing. He is reading. They are reading. She has seen the film. Single siya. Mag-isa. Kaya may S. Ayan. They have seen the film. Madami sila. Kaya hindi single. Walang S. Okay? Clear tayo dito? Okay, good. Second, rule number two. Do not mistake a word in the prepositional phrase. Ano ba yung mga prepositions? In, on, at, of, among, and many other. Okay? Yung mga ganitong words. Tapos in the field, on the ground, at the mall, of the class. Ayan. Those are what you call prepositional phrases. So, ang sabi, do not mistake a word in the prepositional phrase for the subject of the sentence. Example, uh, by the way, the simple subject, simple subject will never be, never, okay, within the prepositional phrase. So, lahat ng mga nouns na nandito, hindi sila subject. Kuha. So, ibig sabihin, when you're trying to come up with a subject verb agreement uh, application, okay, ru uh, application of the rules, kung consider mo yung kung anong form ang verb ang follow mo, hindi mo siya titignan dun sa mga nouns after ng prepositions. Okay? So, how do we find it? Let's have an example. The smell of the cookies invites us to buy more. Tingnan natin ang verb invites, may S. So, baka magkaroon tayo ng ideya, hala, 
yung ano yung word next to it, the noun next to it is cookies. May S din siya, tas may S din to. It's wrong. No. This is not the subject. Because you have the preposition here. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung of the cookies, automatic hindi mo na yan consider Kasi, ang consider mo, itong word na smell. Na singular. Wala siyang S. Kaya, may S ang invites. Ako ha? Ganun lang siya. But of course, it gets more complicated with other forms of, with other types of words na iba yung pluralization niya. Okay? So, let's do this. Let's determine the simple subject. Okay? So, the taste of the grapes surprises us. Alin dito yung mga nouns? When, by the way, when we say nouns, these are naming words. Okay? Or pangalan. Okay? Names of words, places... Um, things, people, event, etc. So, we have taste, we have grapes. Okay. So, surprises. Tingnan nga natin kung merong merong preposition. Meron ba? Yes. Meron. Yung of. So, automatic of the grapes, hindi ko na consider So, ito ang subject ko. Simple subject, taste. Kaya, siya Surprises. Kasi singular lang to. Next. The leaders of the state consult each other. Ano yung mga subject, ano yung, ano yung mga nouns dito? What are the nouns? We have state and leaders. Okay. Do we have a preposition? Yes, we have. Of. Tanggalin na yan para hindi malito. Kaya, let's look at leaders. So, this is your Simple subject. Does it agree with the verb? May S dito, so dapat walang S yung verb. Meron bang S? Sa dulo, wala. So, it's correct. Okay, next. The teacher of the students reminds them to study in advance. So, we have the following nouns. Teacher, students. Can we find the prepositions? We have a preposition here of, again, remove this already. So, with that, we have teacher, which is singular, and reminds as the verb. So, tama lang kasi dahil singular to, single, isa, S. Okay, ayan. So, they agree. So, it's correct. Nakuha. So, again, when you see of, in, at, on, and other prepositions, the nouns that come after would be disregarded. Hindi siya papansinin sa pag-consider ng verb. Okay, next. Let's have the exercises. So, we just answer with me para baga ma-practice kayo. Okay? So, making subjects and verbs agree. So, Lian is are looking forward the trip. This is your subject. Where's your subject? Sige. Let's use green. It's Lian. Okay. And isa lang yan. So, kung isa lang yan, wala siyang S, what should be the verb? Okay, correct. You may S. Is. Ayan. So, your answer is, Lian is looking forward the field trip. Next, Dean want, wants to ride the train. Ano yung subject natin? Dean. Kung pangalan niya ng lalaki, ilan siya? Isa lang. So, ano dapat yung verb? Wala siyang S. Isa lang. Singular. So, dapat, based on sa rule natin kanina, correct. Dapat yung sagot mo is wants. Wala siyang S. So, dapat dito may S. Okay? The teacher tell tells the students about history. Teacher, isa lang. So, dapat may S ang verb. Correct. So, the teacher tells the students about the history or about history. Okay? Number four. The students, with the S, is or are going to the museum after lunch? You have an S here already. So, what should your answer be? Is or are? Okay. It's are. Kasi may S ka na nga dito, di ba? Okay. And then, the bus driver. 
the bus driver, singular, wait or waits for the students to return? What should be the answer? It's waits, correct. Kasi wala siyang S, singular. Singular. So, may S siya dapat dito. So, we're, we're always striking a balance that if your noun has no S, your verb, I mean the subject, if the subject has no S, your verb should get an S. If your subject has an S, your verb should not have an S. So, never mangyayari na may S ang subject, may S din yung verb or Walang S yung subject, wala ding S yung verb. Okay? Unless, um, nag nagpo-fall sila under the special categories. Okay? Or may uh, exemption to the rule. Exercise 2. This will be the last one. Okay? So, making subjects and verbs agree with the prepositional phrases that intervene yung of, in, at, etc. Okay? So, ayan. Let's use purple. The leader's years in Congress has or have given him the outlook on politics. So, ano yung mga nouns natin dito? O, oh, yan. Lobat na daw. Leaders. Leaders' years. Okay. Actually, it's years. If it's the noun per se. Then, Congress. Pero dahil may in ito, hindi mo napapansin ito. So, years has an S. So, dapat, ano sagot dito? Plural to. So, dapat have. Correct. Okay? Next. This graduate of three universities was, were, driven by the things he learned. Graduate at saka universities. Kaso, may of dito. So, hindi ko na siya papansin and hindi to yung simple subject. So, alin ang simple subject? Yes, it's graduate. May S ba? Wala. Wala pong S. So, piliin, piliin mo yung may S. Was driven. Okay? The leader, walang S, despite numerous setbacks and difficulties, has or have achieved many of his goals. Alin dito yung simple subject? Ito ba? Or ito? Okay. Correct. Ang leader, ang simple subject mo, kasi you have the word despite. This is a preposition. Alisin natin para hindi ka malito. So, the leader has or have. May S ba to? Wala. Walang S. So, dapat ito may S. Okay? The leader, despite numerous setbacks and difficulties, has achieved many of his goals. Okay? Number four. His extraordinary abilities in public speaking. Kaso, may word na in. So, hindi ko napapansinin to. Ang simple subject mo ay abilities. It would be are. Okay? His extraordinary abilities are his advantages. Okay? Kasi may S na doon. Lastly, this leader amidst the numerous controversial political figures, kasi may word na amidst, so hindi napapansin yun yan. Leader, walang S, so dapat may S doon. Maintains a good name. This leader amidst the numerous controversial political figures maintains a good name. Okay? So, balikan natin yung mga rules for today. So, first, a rule must agree with its subject in number and in person. Don't forget the 1S rule na in-establish natin. Kung may S ang subject, ang verb wala. Kung walang S ang subject, ang verb meron. But again, uh, merong mga ibang cases na pwedeng ma-violate to. Pero generally, yun yung rule. Okay? Next is, do not mistake a word in the prepositional phrase for the subject of the sentence. Lagi nyo titignan yung in, on, at, despite, among, towards, um, of, ayan. Kapag dyan, nagsisimula dyan yung phrase, the noun after it would always be the, um, object of the preposition. So, hindi siya yung simple subject. Okay? So, I hope you've learned something for today. So, if you have questions or if you want more clarifications, feel free to comment. Okay? And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? Ang next lesson natin will be still on subject verb agreement rules. This time, agreement with linking verbs. Okay?
So I hope you've learned something for today. So that's it. And have a great day. Bye-bye.